If you're trying to license your architecture, interior, or real estate photos to different vendors, it's super helpful to know why companies might pay for those images, and equally, if not more important, to know why they won't buy your photos. So here's a list of seven reasons why a company might pass on your images, and as a bonus, three reasons why they might just decide to license your images, allowing you to make extra money from photos you already shot. The first reason a company might not buy your photos is because they do everything in-house. If a company has a large enough staff that they create all of their own images, they just don't have a need for yours. Keeping everything in-house allows them to be very consistent with their images and branding, and if they already are paying a staff of content creators, they have no reason to shell out even more money for your photos. Number two, their budget is maxed out for the month or quarter or year or whatever. A lot of companies have a set budget for a set time frame, and once it's used up, they just can't spend any more money. And other companies, usually smaller ones, don't even have a marketing or photography budget at all, and simply choose not to spend money on images like this. Number three, they already have enough photos of that particular product. Even if your photo is great and shows off their product really well, if a company already has a library full of images of that item, they just don't need any more and you're out of luck. Number four, the item is or will soon be discontinued. Companies update products and lines all the time, so gorgeous, the gorgeous range that you shot in that beautiful kitchen might look brand new to you, but if the company has changed the knobs recently, they can't use your photo to help promote the new product. Number five, you made the process too difficult for them. An awkward subject line, a desperate email that is way too long, not enough information, too much back and forth, all of these things suck up time and are annoying for a busy person. If you can't get through to the right person and get your point straight across, your email will probably end up in the trash before they ever even see your photos. If you're not sure how to go about this, just sign up for my course at LicenseYourPhotos.com and I'll teach you literally everything you need to know. I'll even give you the exact email template I copy and paste from when sending cold pitches. Most photographers that sign up for the course make their money back after their very first sale. Moving on, number six. To put it bluntly, sometimes your photo just isn't good enough. Maybe it's the composition, maybe it's the editing, it could be the staging in the home or lack thereof, or maybe it just doesn't show off their product in the way that they like to see them. Every company has a certain style and standard they like to stick to, and if yours doesn't fit, they'll just hold off until they find a photo that does. The last reason why a company might not license your photos is because they like to steal content instead of paying for it. We see this all the time on Instagram, where a large company will fish for free content by asking designers and architects to reply to their comment with some hashtag that supposedly grants them all the rights to the images. This sucks, and I'm not sure what can be done about it on a large scale. But you can help yourself by not being a victim of this by talking to and educating your clients. Also by registering your images with the US Copyright Office and monitoring your images with a tracking service. Now that you understand why a company might choose not to pay for the photos you're offering them, let's get to the fun part. Here are the top three reasons why a company will buy your photos. Number one, your photos just landed in their lap and you made it impossible for them to say no. Sometimes an offer is just too good to pass up and if you include everything they need to know in a brief email and make it super simple for them to say yes, well, they might just say yes. Again, I'll tell you exactly how to dial in these emails in the course. Number two, they just so happen to need those kinds of photos. Maybe your images fill a gap in their product image library, or it could be that while they have some product photos of that uh, particular item already, they don't have any that are in that particular colorway or that are used in that particular type of application. So if it's different enough from what they already have or show a variety uh, or a variation that's helpful in their marketing efforts, you could potentially make a sale. And number three, they don't have an in-house photography team and paying you a few hundred dollars is way cheaper than anything else that they could possibly do to get a great image of their product installed in a beautiful and authentic looking space. It's gonna be at least 10 times cheaper than going through the long process of commissioning a similar photo shoot and it's probably 100 times cheaper than building and producing something in-house. So remember, you are saving them a ton of time and money by offering them these photos. Unfortunately, not every amazing photo you produce will be one that another company will pay for. But knowing the information I just shared should help you understand why. 
And if you know the information I teach in the License Your Photos course, you'll have all the tools needed to maximize your chances for licensing sales. So if you want to get all the tips, tricks, and tactics that I personally use to license photos, including that email template I mentioned earlier, sign up for the course at licenseyourphotos.com.